Hey guys, this is Brian from Mansell Hines and thanks for joining us for part two of our camshaft installation. Let's go ahead and get this thing back together. All right, so now we're gonna take the lifters that we've been soaking and we're gonna go ahead and drop them here into the camshaft. So I took my gloves off because I don't feel like getting them soaked in oil. It's kind of a messy job. All right, so placing one of these doesn't matter. You can't have it twisted and have this pin fit. So you need this flat spot to be perpendicular with the motor so that way this pin can drop in. Now, once the pin is in, you'll see it can't really rotate. And then the gasket surface will hold the pin in place. We'll put the type of box on right now. So this is what I said about the gasket. So the gasket kind of holds that in place with a little bit of spring tension. All right guys, so before we go ahead and get everything set up, we're gonna wanna pull the old O-rings out and use the ones supplied with the kit. So what I'll typically do is I'll take the new ones, I'll dip them in a little bit of oil, and then before doing anything, I'm gonna push them here into the head. They're pretty tight, they're not gonna fall out, so it's one of those deals where it's easier just to go ahead and do it now. So we're gonna take our old push rods here. We're going to slide this collar piece down, keep the spring in place along with the washer, pull the old O-ring, grab a new O-ring from the kit, slide it on, and put the push rod tube back together. So we do that all four times. So type of blocks are on, all of the O-rings we need in the type of blocks as well as the heads are back in. So now it's time for the adjustable push rods. All right guys, so these are labeled either intake or exhaust. Exhaust is gonna be towards the outside of the motor. Intake will be towards the inside of the motor. They are different lengths, do not mix them up. All right guys, we're gonna turn the motor over using the rear wheel and we wanna make sure that both lifters are all the way down. What I like to do is just kind of put my fingers on them. That one just came up. That one went up, and now they're both down. So now I can go ahead and install this. All right guys, so these don't really matter. The push rod tubes are all the same size. Go ahead and do the intakes first. And again, the intakes go towards the inside of the motor. What ends up happening is if you don't do these first, you do the exhausts first, you'll have to kind of fight your way around that push rod tube. So it's a lot easier to get this one set. Intake push rod goes through the bottom. Go ahead and get that up there. And we'll start putting it down. So what we're basically gonna do inside there is we are going to rotate this to make it longer. At a certain point, I can get a wrench on it, hold the bottom, keep expanding it. And then what we're searching for is zero lash. So zero lash is basically the rocker arm is here, the lifter is here, and there is no play up and down. So we wanna keep expanding this until you can just barely get anything on it. And then we're gonna go an additional two and a half turns. Now the two and a half turns is easy. You can basically just pinch this part here with the, with the wrench and then use the dot. So you'd rotate it one, two and a half. All right, so now guys, we've got it to the point where I can't move it up and down anymore. We're in zero lash. It's still really, really loose, but it's time to start rotating it and uh, clamping down.
All right, guys, now do the same thing with the exhaust on the same cylinder. Watch the back. So you can see the rear one has already bled down. I can already rotate it. See that? We gotta wait for this guy to do the same because right now it's locked in place. So while we're waiting on that one, let's go ahead and get our clip back in. So now what we're gonna do is everything's all lined up here. We're gonna press it into the bottom seal. Take this guy, keep the collet down, press it into the upper portion, just like that. And we're gonna slide the clip here. Take a screwdriver, go up underneath, and then we're gonna use the screwdriver as leverage to press it down, slide the lock in. All right, so now we're gonna rotate the motor over. Again, I'm gonna put my fingers in here, be careful. All right, so now both of these are at the bottom. So we can go ahead and install everything here. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing on the front cylinder, again, intake first. Alright guys, so we'll go ahead and get the clips placed in here and then we're done. Alright guys, it's all back together. Thank you again for joining us and we'll see you on the next Make It Yours.